As Thomas has been saying, we're just a few days away now from those sub-zero temperatures here in the inland northwest. With the cold on its way, most Spokane homeless shelters are already near capacity. So Crime 2's Brandon T. Jones is live right now here in Spokane. Brandon, what are these shelters seeing so far and how are they preparing for these temperatures? Yeah, well, Nicole, with those cold temperatures on the way all morning long, we've been looking at the Shelter Me Spokane website. And what this is is a resource for people in the city of Spokane, Spokane Valley, and just Spokane County in general. We're looking at that right now. You can see Hope House Women's Shelter. They just have one bed open. You see the two below those, Crosswalk Youth Shelter, House of Charity Shelter completely full and actually there's 11 shelters on this particular website great resource to check that 25 percent or less beds are available for seven of those shelters out of the 11 and right behind us over here you can see the volunteers of america they have a program and what they do is they help direct some of those people seeking shelter to some of those open spaces in our city and surrounding areas. But again, as those cold temperatures begin to roll in, the beds, they're going to quickly fill up. And in fact, we had a Crimp 2 crew spend the day with some of the shelters in town yesterday. And we were told by the Volunteers of America that doors are open, but beds are usually full. That means by the time the evening rolls around, people have to get redirected to other places or simply find another place to spend the night. Hope House Shelter especially has been at capacity because of rent. Uh, we're seeing the need increase with people not being able to afford their rent. They're on fixed income, the rent increases, and they don't have a safety net. All right, so and if we take a look at the largest shelter in Spokane, as of this morning, the Trent Resource and Assistance Center has 39 beds available out of their 400 in total. So again, as those extreme temperatures, those sub-zero temperatures roll in by this weekend, we could see all of those beds completely filled up by Friday. But for now, reporting live in Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crim2 News.